So addition of rational numbers. So now we'll continue this with rational numbers. How we need to add. So most important rule we need to follow for this. In order to add two rational numbers, we first convert each of them into a rational numbers with the positive denominators. We need to convert denominators must be positive. For example, if the question is given minus 3 by 5 and 3 by minus 5. Okay, I'm taking some 15. <coughs> minus 3 by 5 and 3 by minus 15. So here, denominator is plus 5. But your denominator is uh, negative 15. Right, so we need to convert. If any fraction is negative denominator, we have to convert into positive. That means this you can write minus 3 by 15. Because if you multiply with minus numerator and denominator, it will convert into minus 3 by 15. So minus 3 by 5 will take, minus 3 by 15 will take and we need to add. So important rule is first we need to convert every rational number with the positive denominators. So let us see the two case, two cases in addition of rational numbers. First case is when the given rational number have the same denominator. If the given question itself, the rational numbers have the same denominator. So rational numbers have the same denominator. Fine. Then sum of the two rational numbers of the form. Then how if the denominators are same, they are in this form, right? Like m by q and some n by q because denominators are same. Then if you want to add this both, m by q plus n by q, just will add denominators as it is we just will add the only numerators. So m plus n by q. If the condition is if the denominators are same of the rational numbers. So let us take example also. For example 3 by 17 comma minus 2 by 17. Then we need to add this both. So 3 by 17 plus minus 2 by 17. So here denominators are same. Therefore 17 is denominator. 3 plus and minus 2. That is 3 minus 2 by 17. So 1 by 17. So we already studied early classes. So we need to add the positive negative numbers. So 3 minus 2 is 1 by 17. Now this is the condition. If you take one more example also, similar. Now 2 by 5, 3 by 5, 1 by 5. So if you want to add this, we will take only denominator of all. Because denominator is same in three uh, rational numbers. So if you want to add, just you need to add the numerators. 2 plus 3 plus 1, that is 6 by 5. Now this is the case 1. That means if the denominators are same, then how we need to add the rational numbers. For example, case 2 if you observe, most of the problems will be in case 2. We will see and understand clearly how to solve. When the given rational numbers have unequal denominators. When the given rational numbers have unequal. So when unequal denominators, then how we need to add? So in this case, we find the LCM of the denominators and express each of the given rational numbers into equivalent rational numbers, having the LCM of the as the denominator. So equivalent uh, rational numbers we are discussed in previous topic, right? So okay, let us uh, with example I'll explain directly. 
minus 5 by 12 and 4 by minus 9. Now add this both. Because your denominators are unequal. Now here is minus 12 and this is minus 9. So first step is we how to write denominator should be positive. That means minus 5 by 12 and this is minus 4 by plus 9. So minus you just shift to numerator. Okay, then first condition is here is 12 and here is 9. So first we should take the denominators LCM. 12 comma 9 so LCM of 12 comma 9 12 and 9 LCM if you take uh, 3 table the 4 is a 12 3 3 is a 9 so 4 and 3 no common factors so once you take 4 once you take 3 so 3 4 is a 12 12 3 is a 36 so LCM is 36 now just multiply 3 4 3 so, we should make denominators must be as 36 for this both fractions. So, minus 5 by 12 and minus 4 by 9 is the given conditions, the given uh, rational numbers. So, what we need to multiply into into. So, with the same number you should multiply separately we should make 36 now if you want 36 denominator i should keep here 3 because 12 3 is 36 same 3 keep here so case 1 is they only gave denominators are same so you just did only for numerators now case 2 denominators are not same so we should convert them it as same that means only with the help of taking lcm right now here 9 that is uh, 9 4 is 36. So same 4 you keep here because you have see the properties in rational numbers. Now just to simplify this minus 5 into 3. So minus 15 by 36 and minus 16 by also 36. Just we need to add this sum now. The sum that is minus 15 plus minus 16 by 36 because denominator is same now. So minus 15 plus minus 16 is minus 31 by 36. So after doing, if it is possible, we can simplify. Otherwise, you can leave that. Minus 31 by 36 is the sum of these numbers. Let me explain one more question, uh, one more sum. Then we'll see uh, properties of the addition of rational numbers. After an explanation, one more problem. Find the sum of minus 11 by 15 plus. 7 by 12. So this answer we need to find out. So LCM of 15 and 12. LCM of because denominators are not same. So they are unequal denominators. So we should find the LCM of 15 and 12. So 15 comma 12 LCM if you take uh, 3 table that is 15 and 12. 3 5 zero, and 3 4 zero. so we can multiply this all so 3 into 5 into 4 60 is LCM now we should make it as 60 so direct LCM of 12 and 15 is 60 so there is direct method I'll tell you now take the 60 and keep a line e instead of making individually here denominator is 15 so in 15 table, we need to check 60 because we need to convert this denominator should be 60. That means 15 into dash is 60. 
that is 15 into 4 right now take the same 4 and multiply numerator also because same number you should multiply and above and below so for example because this into 4 means same this also should be 4 only now 12 into 60 means 12 into 5 so same 5 you should do for this also so direct step I am making that's right minus 11 into 4 plus next is 12 table 60 5 zone. so 5 into 7 that is 7 into 5 so this is instead of for taking extra one more step you can do directly now minus 11 into 4 is minus 44 7 5 is a 35 by 60 so minus 44 plus 35 that is minus 9 because 44 is the bigger number minus 9 by 16 this we can cut into simplest form if you're familiar with cancellations you can do directly you can do three table I can cancel 3 3 so 3 20 so, so minus 3 by 20 is the value or sum of minus 11 by 15 and 7 by 12 right so this is the addition of rational numbers So I'll explain you now some properties of addition of rational numbers. So what are the properties? Let us see. Properties of addition of rational numbers. Addition of rational numbers. So on based of addition of rational numbers, let us see what are the properties are available here. So generally we study some properties like closure property, commutative, associative and additive identity. So it's existence of additive identity, existence of additive inverse. So let us see briefly everything now. So property wise I'll explain first properties. So let us see closure property on rational numbers. So with respect to addition. So briefly I'll tell you. The sum of two rational numbers is also rational number. There is nothing but closure property because sum of two rational numbers. If any two rational numbers, if I add, then that result also is a rational numbers. That means if a by b comma c by d are two rational numbers, then a by b plus c by d. This is also a rational number. There is nothing but closure property. Similarly, we have one more is commutative law. So, commutative law is if A by B and C by D are any two rational numbers, so A by B and C by D, if these two are any two rational numbers, then commutative law is nothing but we can a by b plus c by d is also equals to c by d plus a by b so if you take reverse I means so both in different positions also if you are also get same so like how numbers natural numbers are exist commutative law similarly rational numbers also will follow the commutative law because a by b plus c by d is equal to c by d plus a by b you can take one example also you can verify any number for example if I take 5 by 9 plus minus 7 by 15 this also some and minus 7 by 15 plus 5 by 9 also will come same solution that is nothing but commutative law 
So property three is associative law. Also, it exists. Associative. So briefly, I'll explain. Not going too deep because I already studied this uh, laws. <coughs> if A by B, associative law is, uh, we need to take three rational numbers. If A by B, and take some C by D, and E by F. These are the three rational numbers. Then associative law says A by B plus C by D. Add this both and add to E by F. This result is also equals to A by B plus of of this C by D plus E by F. So next is so second, third, and add. Then followed by add to the first rational number. Even though it gives the same result. So this is nothing but associative law. Because the addition of rational numbers they follow. These are all the properties. Next is uh, existence of additive identity. So we know additive identity and additive inverse. Generally, additive identity in natural numbers is zero. Right? So same zero also is additive in identity in rational numbers. That is additive identity. So in ad additive identity, so here zero is the additive identity because if you add any number for example a by b plus 0 this also 0 plus a by b even though we will get same rational number a by b only okay. you can take example for example if you take because 0 you are adding 2 by 3 plus 0 is nothing but 2 by 3 only otherwise 0 plus 2 by 3 also is again by 3. So this is additive identity. So 0 is the additive entity. Now additive inverse. For every rational number a by b there exists another rational number minus a by b. Is additive inverse because uh, we should get additive identity if you add. Additive inverse this. For example, a by b is a rational number, then additive inverse is minus a by b. Okay, this is additive inverse for this or reverse. If a by is a, a by b is a rational number, then minus a by b is additive inverse. Because this both if I'll add, I'll get zero. That's what they are additive inverse. So the additive inverse of rational number is zero, is zero itself if we take any 0 because 0 is also a rational number right so 0 additive inverse also is 0 only because 0 plus is 0 0 will come so these are the properties which are related to the addition of rational numbers right now let us see the subtraction of rational numbers now <coughs> 